Hi, this is Scott Jordan, and you are watching live here at Cellars of Sonoma in beautiful Railroad Square, Santa Rosa, California. Go Giants, baby! <laughs> And welcome everybody to TV Tuesday Live. This is the show where we taste wine, we talk about wine. We got Dave Bat back in the house. So we thought we would uh, go through our new grilled cheese, gourmet grilled cheese uh, food and wine. I, I've noticed ever since you've got that grilled cheese thing going on that we do not miss a beat. We actually oh. enjoy some food while we're on the show. So I, yeah. I see that perhaps as your motivation for doing this. Yes, and I needed uh, some meal, uh, some food, and so I thought, well, what the heck. Um, if you notice, I've got my Giants hat on and I've got my Giants jersey, one of many that I'll be wearing over the next How could you not notice? six days. Yeah, right on. Uh, my boys and I leave for spring training starting Thursday morning at six o'clock. We will be in Arizona and our first game is going to be actually a non-Giants game and I'll tell you about why that it really irritated me um, and uh, that we're going to see the Diamondbacks and who are they I forgot who they're playing the Diamondbacks and somebody else in their new stadium second game we're going to see is the A's in their new stadium against somebody not the Giants and then the Mariners against the Giants at the Mariners Stadium. Oh, the Mariners. The Mariners. Yeah. Well, uh, maybe it is the Brewers. Uh, it's one of those two. I got a thing at home that <laughs> tells me what to do. And then, then on Sunday, Committed to memory, we've got though, the Giants yeah. against the Dodgers at home, and we're doing the Charo. The Charo, which is really cool. This is so, so you know, if you, you people that want to go to uh, spring training next year, um, buy what they call the Charo ticket. It gets you into the stadium and then in right field, underneath a, a, big, they have a big tent, they have live music before the game. You get in like three hours before the game or two, right? Two or three hours before the game. But you buy your ticket and it includes all your drinks and all your food. Oh, nice. And it's all upgraded stuff too. It's not just hot dogs and hamburgers. I mean, it's, they've got all kinds of stuff. And uh, what we do when, with my boys, the ticket's uh, uh, 90 bucks for, for that ticket. And what we do is okay. we, as soon as we get there, we start a, a clock to see how fast we can get on their money. <laughs> so, <laughs> sometimes like 20 minutes. <laughs> yeah, we, cause you know, and, and they bring it all to you, which is even better. It's even cooler, man. It's, so that's like uh, you got this down to science. Oh well, this is our seventh. This is our seventh year wow. that we've gone uh, to spring training, and uh, it's a big hoot. And we see that red box. We take one of those red boxes. Get, 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 grab that, so yeah. these folks can see what I'm talking about. If you're ever traveling and and you need to bring wine, like we need to bring wine, so we bring this, and it's got wheels on it, and you check it as luggage. And so it's inside, it's got a nice little shipper box and it's all ready to go. And that's how we get our wine to spring training. You can put a person in there. <laughs> well, on the way home, when we come home, it actually folds up and I can get it in, inside of my golf bag, which is interesting. It, it, I can squeeze it down without the box. We throw the box out. So uh, that will have a case of beautiful wines from Sonoma and Napa and all kinds of places so we're we're, we're ready and roaring. so it's baseball season it all starts now and i'm going and then here's the only little catch for next week uh for my loyal fans um we fly back on tuesday the 31st our plane arrives in oakland at three o'clock so the game plan is to actually try to make it back here 
by six. But oh, nice. <laughs> <laughs> what time do you land? Three. <laughs> Three? <laughs> yeah. That's funny. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, we will attempt to do that. In the event, though, we have a backup plan. In the event that we don't quite make it that far, uh, uh, that fast and get back in time, Dave uh, and company will be running the broadcast and keeping our streak alive so that we're consecutive shows. So and we don't will miss you show up midway, perhaps? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, I, cool. I'm thinking cool. it's going to be real close. We can go commute lane all the way. So that'll help us move through the traffic. Um, and if you want to be on the show and come down and be on the show, that's okay. Here's the requirement, though. If you can fill up one of these things for me, <laughs> I could get you on that program. I promise you. <laughs> wow. That sounds like a bribe, but I like it. I like it. Good job, Dave. I'm selling. Hey, it's, it's all. Got to be the brands in here, of course. Yeah. It's about you, right? Yeah. I mean, the yeah. brands. I love it. So, um, so tonight we're gonna uh, we'll talk a little bit of baseball, but we're going to talk about the food and wine pairing. And we did something really cool with a gour with gourmet grilled cheese. Um, I think you guys that are here that are watching the show um, are really going to like this. We're, we're we're really happy with. And this was not a rerun. I mean, we did this once before, but yeah. these are different recipes. Um, different I I different pairings. <laughs> Just check. Oh yeah, yeah. No, that's what it was a double manchego. I didn't make a triple. I made a triple. Yeah, they're different wines and there's different everything. And this is not a repeat. Yeah, it's a different of day. Yeah, different and day. it's yeah, and it's uh, today. Just check it. It's the 24th. Yes, and it's going to be 80 tomorrow. And it's going to be when we land in in Scottsdale, 97 degrees. Woohoo, baby! Wow. So see this color? It will be very very different. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Yeah, yeah. It'll be pretty brown. That's that's for sure. Uh, so we have four wines: um, the Deering 2012 Santa Barbara uh, Grenache Blanc, beautiful crisp wine. You're gonna like that a lot. Uh, the Bonneau wine 2013, the, the from Monterey, the uh -huh. rosé, and then Amorosa Bella 2010 Russian River Pinot Noir, probably pouring about as good as you could ask a, a wine right now to pour. The tens, uh, great vintage to uh, enjoy right it's now. It's interesting, isn't it? As difficult as that was, really the difficult. tens that you find are just amazing. They're yeah, I mean, they're really, really well nice right in the bottle. I I have, uh, I got a chance to uh, go uh, back to Calistoga Ranch. We had family in, and we spent a little time uh, at Chateau Montalena. We we spent a little time um, at some of the wineries over there, and I tasted some tens. And man, I'm just telling you. Everything I had in, in the 2010, loving it. Just digging those wines. Cool. So Super Sonoma in their 2010 Mayakama Mountain Cabernet Franc. Okay. Okay. Now, they're paired up. Um, first is a imported French brie, grilled cheese on sliced sourdough. People ask me, you know, what kind of bread are you using? It, it's uh, around here. It's all about sourdough bread. You, the rest of you folks, other parts of the country, probably don't get as much of this. There's a, there's a San Francisco uh, restaurant called Boudin, yep. and, and they make fantastic bread. And so we use the Boudin uh, bread, and uh, it's pretty good. It, it, it works out well. You can use any, if you're going to make this at home, um, it's not rocket science, but it's kind of cool. But the key to the, to, and we'll talk about this a little later, I'll show it to you more. The key to the to making really good gourmet uh, grilled cheese is what we we butter that bread, but we use um, parsley and oregano, oh. and that's the key when you grill that. It adds those flavors in that you normally don't get at home if you don't do that. Right. So you have to do that. I'll show you what it looks. We'll see as 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 we move along. Um, so this these are things you can make at home. Um, we also did a grilled cheddar rolls on wheat, uh -huh. and, and that's, they're just rolls, with, but they have cheddar cheese in them. And then a Hawaiian. The Hawaiian is, um, uh, you, you, use, um, sh you use shredded cheddar and jack, and then you put down some uh, Canadian bacon, uh -huh. and then some pineapple, and then another layer of cheese, It'll set you free. Decadent. Yeah. 
And then uh, grilled creamy American blue cheese. Now this is where I really had a problem. This was hard for me. I'm not a blue cheese dude. However, if when you do the pairing, it's so spot on that I can live through that and not, not you know, mm. gag and All say right. I can't do it. Okay. So, <laughs> so, so from here, I'll oh, have to. Yeah. Here. I mean, I'm, I still will not grab a big chunk of blue cheese and go, wow, wasn't that a nice yummy thing to eat? I'm, I'm not going there. But with the wine, yeah, it really, it balanced it out so I could actually figure it out. Do you have a question? Oh yeah. Oh, you wouldn't this do isn't, anything, but this isn't for your diet. This is not like something that you're gonna go, wow, I'm losing weight, I'm eating all this cheese. No, I don't think so. You gotta use real, 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 and you gotta use good ingredients and, and good cheese. We buy really nice cheese and it makes a huge, huge difference. Um, all right, so I've been talking too much and Andrew's going, will you please shut up? How in the world are these people going to drink? I don't think you said please. Oh, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah, that's, that's the All right, this is our, this is our, uh, I want my the, the, this is the brie, right? Okay. All right, so we poured, uh, the first wine we poured is uh, 2012, another great vintage year. Mm -hmm. um, Grenache Blanc. You don't see a lot of Grenache Blanc around here. It comes from Santa Barbara. Mm. Now, what you want to do is you want to take a little of the wine and think, get that in your mouth to kind of make your palate coat the mouth and co coat the mouth. Mm -hmm. Then take a little bite of the cheese, and then a little more of the wine. Oh, and the brie. You don't think about using brie in a grilled cheese, but it works. It, it really works. Now you'll notice, those of you that are in the audience here uh, eating along with us, um, you'll see the oregano and you'll taste it. It's 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 tasty. You'll you'll it's get definitely there. Yeah. Yeah. You'll get a little flavor, and that helps um, complete that that food. So Karina, did you get did you get one of those? It's brie. I'm going to. Okay. To the guests first? Okay, all right, because it's, it's brie, it's good stuff. It is good stuff. Yeah, so what you do, um, just so that you guys know, um, your rounds, you, all you do is you take a regular round of brie, you cu I cut it in half, which because I'm looking for strips mm -hmm. of, so I then pull it aside and I make strips of that, and that's what I lay over the, over the bread, because the Boudin bread, the, this bread was this big. That round. It was, so it was a round loaf? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's the almost the middle of a round loaf. Okay. Yeah. And so those are big pieces. And so you want that brie to lay on there. And I do two layers because you want a bunch of cheese. You know, right. You want to yeah. really get with the program. So, um, yeah. So you, you, you cut those thin. Cut them thin. Don't cut them fat because brie takes a while to melt. It's not going to melt right away. It's not like your cheddar that's going to melt like that. This takes a little longer. You don't want to burn or end up ruining the bread uh, by cooking it too long. Um, uh, do you remove the skin of the No, no, I don't. And that's an that's a interesting uh, question because we didn't really know what was going to happen when we did that and left it on there. But you know what? It worked perfectly. No problem whatsoever. Yeah, no issue at all. I, I think you're wasting time trying to cut that off of there. It, 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 it melted right along with it. No problems. So this, uh, the grilled cheese idea, um, my wife went down to Santa Barbara and went to this restaurant and that's all they served. And it was so cool. And so we thought, well, gosh, you know, we make, uh, we make cheese platters here mm -hmm. and we use blue cheese, uh, we, we, we use uh, brie. So why not make it into a sandwich? And it so makes, there makes we go. Sense. Yeah. And that made sense and I like it. So. And coincidentally, the uh, wine, the grapes, the Grenache Blanc is from Santa Barbara. Did it you was, do that on purpose? It was a setup. No, the coolest thing that we did on the, what we did, and here's how we, um, in case you're wondering, how do you set up a 
food and wine pairing of your own? In other words, how do you de decide the wines? What we did is this. We, we came up with the dish, the food first, and then started tasting, right? And we went mm -hmm. back and forth yeah. and back and forth. And then <clears throat> I, didn't, I didn't print one, but we also had this really cool um, cheese wheel. And if you just Google cheese wheel, it, that'll come up. And it actually shows you what cheeses go best with certain wines. Mm -hmm. And so we kind of used that as a guide. And, and then we had to drink like six or eight glasses with each one of these experiments. I mean, it went on and on. I'm, yeah, was, I'm going, tough. I'm going tough. Dave, you don't have it right. Let's go back to the beginning. And, he, and he's going, wait, I we lost track. But once you figure it out, you go, and it pops, and it, and all of a sudden they they balance each other out quite nicely. And what's really interesting about those pairings is that you'll find among the white wines there might be a mm. particular pairing for a cheese, but out of the clear blue there might be a dark wine, mm. a heavier wine that also pairs because the notes in the wine actually work together. So, so we found ourselves saying, well, it either goes with this Chardonnay or it goes with that Pinot Noir. Remember, yeah. we had different choices. Oh yeah, we did. Lined up. Yeah. So. It's not always just a white wine with that cheese. It could be a red wine. Yeah, and we're gonna we're gonna from time to time we're gonna keep changing the wine selections. We'll keep the dishes relatively the same. Although I did come up with a new with a new uh, grilled cheese. I, I did an experiment um, that has it has Jarlsberg in it. It has um, Mancheco, which I love, uh -huh. and it has Dubliner. So it has, yeah, it, it, all well, three of those. It's a three cheese. It's a three cheese special Scott thing stuff. Cool, wow. And I, but I didn't do the pairing yet, so I don't know. But those are that's pretty. That's six more glasses we have to open up. And try. No, that's 18. All oh, right, that's 18. <laughs> that's even it's, better. It's, you keep going higher. <laughs> I'm going to spring training. I got to get in shape. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing here. Um, yeah, so that's, you know. Um, and the, and the reason and the reason I came up with the three cheese is we uh, we cut up our cheese you know in the course of the week we cut up our cheese that we use in our in our uh, uh, our cheese platters and inevitably you end up with a bag full of almost like crumbs but that's beautiful cheese there's nothing wrong with that that makes perfect grilled cheese yeah. so we found it a use fast too right? Ooh, yeah. like that yeah. Yeah. and we we said. Perfect, great use for that, the crumbly. So we have crumbly cheese that's, you can't serve it in little teeny right. little rocks. It looks so silly. So we, we, uh, we now use that and, and can make a specialty sandwich. So we can do that. And, uh, but I haven't figured out the exact pairing, but we can work on that. That's, that, that shouldn't I be. don't mind working on that. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. So uh, Deering uh, did a great job on this Grenache Blanc. It's a neat wine, very versatile. That's why it worked really well with the brie. But this is something you could go spicy. Um, you know, you, the sky's the limit on what you can do. Mm. That's nice. That's nice. All right. Now, this is a varietal that I like a lot. I am a big, 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 big rosé fan. Um, I love rosé. I think they're cool. Um, we live in a place where we get this uh, yellow orb thing. What is it? Uh, 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 sun. That's right. We get the sun a lot. And it, <laughs> it's a yellow orb or something. Well, no, I had relatives that were that were visiting from Oregon, and when the sun came out, they went. What is that? The gods are not happy. <laughs> the gods are not happy. <laughs> they were like freaking out. No, they had no. They pushed me out of the way because I was standing in front of the sun, and they, they, they were like, "Wow, pretty aggressive." <laughs> but um, yeah, anyway, uh, so we, you know, we always e equate um, rosé with sunshine. Like it's got to be freaking ninety degrees out before you're gonna have a rosé. But I'm not sure if I'm buying that. Um, I like it all the time. Uh, this one is made from. Um, it's made from uh, Syrah, isn't it? Andrew? What? what what's the that? Rosé of Syrah. What? Is it? it is Syrah. So you can make rosé from anything. Pretty much. Yeah. As long as it starts red. Yeah. Start red. 
That makes a lot. <laughs> no food coloring. Can't, can't put food coloring. Well, I in guess there. you could, I guess, but then it kind of messes up the whole all natural ingredient thing you're working with, the cheese and so forth. Oh. Well, I, again, I'm a real big fan because the, the rosés can pair up with all kinds yeah. of foods. They really can. And um, you can get spicy foods and you're just doing fine. You're doing, you're doing really good. Now, Karina, can you get a shot of, the, of this? This shows the, uh, the uh, spice on, on, the, uh, on the grilled cheese. I got my finger right in the middle of the food. Isn't that great? That's almost appealing. Can you see it? Do you, do you get? Oh, you get the idea. So you can see um, that, that. Yeah. Uh, it it does add some spice, and that's what you want is a little bit of spice. So this is the grilled cheddar cheese roll. Now, those of you that are that are eating this along with us, they clearly do not look like rolls, but that's only because we cheat and we use. A George Foreman and it has a lid on the top and bottom and it just squished the suckers right down. <laughs> they started out as rolls. They work great though. The mm -hmm. I, I have to say, the George Foreman is probably the coolest thing. I mean, that, that darn thing, we do everything on that and um, it works. Mm -hmm. So they make squished round rolls. Oh man. And that cheddar along with the, with the rosé. Now, and again, this is a rosé of Syrah, so it's a little bigger. Wouldn't you say it's bigger? It's more... Um, Still has that pepper uh, on the nose. Uh -huh. A little bit of that white spice. Mm -hmm. mm. And I noticed the audience got real quiet because they're eating. What we've, what we've seen so far, we've, had, we've done a few of these uh, food and wine pairings with these wines and the, and, the, and the food. They scarf it down. I never saw, it in, at least they're all, they, maybe they're all coming in like super hungry. I don't know, but I'm just telling you, they're, they're woofing this stuff down. So that, it must be working. So It's a, it's a pleasant um, experience. No, it's good. It's, it's a three cheese. It's a three cheese. Come on. Who's that? Right? We're going to have a, a contest for the name of that. Is this a mild cheddar? This was a medium. I like the I like the sharp better, but where I went to get it, where it was already sliced, okay. all they had was medium. But I would prefer to go with the with the sharp. And the next time I I well, shop, sharp, yeah. yeah, it just has a little more flavor. Did you try a white cheddar also? No, we haven't. No, that's oh, a no, great idea. <laughs> so, so those of you that are watching from, from other parts of the country, um, the question was, did you use uh, uh, a sharp cheddar and I, I used a medium and then he said, uh, this young man over here said, um, uh, a white cheddar, which I didn't think about a white cheddar. A white cheddar would be great. Because, you know, I, I have to be, I have to tell you, I did not invent these recipes. I actually found them once my wife came home and was like freaking out about gourmet grilled cheese and the light bulb went off in my head I went oh man we could do that we got George in the back hell we would just slide that in there and bam you nice. got that that's a done deal so um, I just used their recipe and it seemed to work pretty well um, but why not white I don't know I've never I think that makes a lot of sense well, all right my next cheddar uh, cheese doesn't really come it's, it's a white cheese. It's dyed. Oh, so what you're saying is that the cheddar cheese is actually white, but they dye it's it? A color, most cheese are well, no cheese white color. The orange cheeses are dyed. Mm. No. See, I'm not that smart. That's my problem. I, 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 I'm just not you that smart. You the way you see it. I, it was orange. Right. I thought it, stood, you know, it was like an orange cow or something. <laughs> hey, why not? So then is the cow blue? Cow, is it? Right, I, yeah. yeah. I don't know. No, he's happy. He's not yeah. Happy. So um, this is a great example of using uh, rosé, though. Don't walk away from the rosés. I'm just telling you, they're bargains. It's eighteen dollars and fifteen thirty if you're a seller club member. I mean, the great value. It was made from Syrah. Um, 
that's great value. And it's a screw cap, which is really cool. I dig the screw cap. I'm all over that. And um, yeah, you can't go wrong with that. I think it's great. So white yeah. cheddar. I'm intrigued. White cheddar, yeah. Now, have you been able to find white cheddar? Have you, well, you haven't looked. No, I haven't even looked because because okay. I, I was going. I'm I'm kind of um, uh, what am I? Uh, dumb, stupid, something. Uh, <laughs> no, I don't. You just go in like this. I'm looking for this. I found it. I do. It. Right. See, I've been married for thirty four five million years. Thirty thirty something a lot. Big number. Big right. And the reason that I've been married this long is that I do what I'm told. Uh. <laughs> so, you know, we, you know, because I am the best loser on the planet. I want to be the loser. She wins. I lose. Done. But, but you can't tell me you're not sneaky sometimes. No, well, sneaky is... Well, I'm not going to admit that on camera. No, I'm telling you. So... It, things like this, if it says use cheddar, I'm like, okay, use, you know, I'm just, I do what I'm told, so I, I'm not, ooh, that's, you know, white cheddar, I'm digging that, I gotta find it, I'll find it, and we'll do it, we'll do a, a comparison. It's sharper and it has less. A little sharper? Yeah. Okay. Sharper, yeah. yeah, and I, and I, and I think that would be, one, it's even better. yeah, okay, well, we'll, well, we keep experimenting, we can change this thing as many times as we want, no big deal. Nice. Okay, and I, I do want to I do want to uh, give a shout out um, to the folks at at Calistoga Ranch. Honestly, gang, if you if you have any, yeah, no, no, man, we, they took man, they took such care of us. Oh, it was so cool, but it it's. It's it's so way cool. It's it's beyond cool. It's it's a, a level above that. What do you mean? No, they're not mobile homes. You knucklehead. They're not. No, they used to be a mobile home park, but. I'm not. We have a crazy person that snuck in to our show. I was just staying in there. Trust me, those are not mobile homes. <laughs> but a, a shout out to the Calistoga Ranch folks. Um, they totally took care of us. You want a luxurious, amazing vacation, stay in a resort. That one is worth every penny. Oh my God. Lord, unbelievable! You were you were so close, but you were totally like gone. I mean, nobody could hear from you. You were having a great time. I mean, when we were here and heard you were over there, we said we'll not hear from him for quite a while now. Oh, he's just he kicks back, he forgets the world, right? Well, you can turn it off just like that, and you you're in this area, you're in this place that they'll just take care of you, and everything's fine. And can we do this? And they go, yes, of course you can. And can we do that? And they go, yes, we'll do that. And it's, it's just this perfect world. And it just goes on and on. And it's crazy cool. Nice. We were in a place that had, <laughs> it had a kitchen, it had a kitchen, it had a kitchen bigger than this room, as, as big as this room, all Viking equipment in it, seated for like 10 people, seating for 10. Then out in the patio, it's all patio, they have a giant fireplace and another seating area and another outdoor thing with the heaters and the whole, oh my gosh. And then the, a living room, a separate living room with a five speaker Bose system and another TV and another fireplace. And the thing has like six phones in it. It's got five TVs, it's crazy. So that's similar to your house here nearby. It's bigger than my house. <laughs> the kitchen's bigger than your house. <laughs> oh, man, it, it, was, it was it was it was bad. It was it was like no that's the that's the same room that that Lady Gaga and all those folks stay at. Um, okay, that's that that's it's the same exact one. I'm just telling you that all the uber rich go to. Now they have smaller versions of this mm -hmm. that for the rest of the earth. Um, but we were in like the most luxurious that you could ever have two separate the the master the master suite shower is outside 
there's nothing cooler. It's outside. And it's one of those ones that, like a rain shower one, that is, uh, oh, and it has a heater, a big heater. So if it's cold out, what, click the heater on. You're, you're naked outside? Yeah, you're naked outside, absolutely. You but it's. No, yeah, of course you are. It's all. It's it's completely. Uh, nobody can see in. No, it's no, and it's 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 just. And they had they had tied to the the on and off um, controls. They had. Um, um, from the garden, they had these eucalyptus oh. and uh, so when the water hit the eucalyptus and the, and the other spice, it, it the the flavor, all that aroma, and so you're you're just there in the nature and it's just coming over your head and it's beautiful out and, and, you're, naked outside. and you're naked and you're outside and you're going, what the hell is this? This is unbelievable. Why in the world does everybody do this? Now give them the worst part, the price. <laughs> Well, here's the, but, but if you have the money, it doesn't matter. If you have the money, it doesn't matter. It's $4,200 a night. <laughs> Woo! There you go. Ooh, baby, baby. Well, if you've got that kind of dough, who cares? You're going, hell yeah. You're going, you're right, chicks going, woo! Yeah, keep it coming, baby. Hell yeah. Now you can get, you can get realistic like the, just a room that's not the suite with two bedrooms and they're probably in the 600 range so you can get it in in a 600 yeah but they're you're you're kind of just you're you can walk the entire deck area butt naked because there's you can't see in at all there's no way you can see in unless you hopped over the fence it's cool i'm just telling you we had more damn fun. That was luxurious. It was. Uh, I won't tell. I won't tell you what we paid, but <laughs> it'll make you crazy. But you were naked outside. I was naked outside. I, I had to admit, I took a shower outside. It was cool, man. I'm digging it. I was right out of the movies. I'm just telling you. And keeping keeping that lifestyle includes having gourmet grilled cheeses. Oh right yeah, here. yeah, yeah, right here. yeah. And we didn't have to. You don't have to go anywhere. They'll bring you the food. They'll bring you, we had a dinner for eight people and they brought the entire dinner to us out on the deck last night and this gourmet meal and it was just this whole thing and it was just people were just going, how much fun can we give you and yes sir and yes, yes, yes and I'm going yes, yes. It was just, it was bad. It was crazy. And then you had to buy a timeshare. No. <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> no. No. No time no, no, no. no Okay. It seemed like I'd have bought it though. I'd have said, "Yeah, sign it up, baby." Oh. Oh man, I'm telling you. Calistoga. But uh, yeah, Calistoga Ranch, man. Look that up. You just gotta believe. Six thirty-three. Oh man, it's just. Ugh. It was cool. It was, nice. Yeah, that's the. I'll, I have a video of the uh, next next week or the week after. I'll I'll throw the video up, oh, wow. and show you. <laughs> it's pretty cool. Well, you're not seeing it yet. And it has a hot tub too. We use that too. It did have a hot tub. All right, we lost control of this thing completely. So finish your juice. Oh, your, your, okay. And because we got to get into the the the. This is the one. This is the one gourmet grilled cheese that I really dig, man. I think we freaking nailed it. I like this one a lot. This is called the Hawaiian. It's paired up with the 2010 Pinot Noir from Amorosa Bella, all Russian river fruit. Again, it's sourdough. And then you put some uh, uh, cheddar and jack shredded cheese. Mm -hmm. Then a couple slices of uh, um, Canadian bacon, then some pineapple, and what you want to do on the pineapple is get the crushed pineapple, because it spreads better. I originally got the little rings, and that was like a mess. So the the crushed works nice. You can make a little mound, and then put more cheese on it, and it thinks like this big when it starts, and it goes like that when it's squishy. You're getting those now. They're coming up next.
And that paired really well with the Amorosa Bella. I, I think it nailed it when, when we, uh, these, two. these okay. two here? Yeah. Cause they're the best or they're the hottest? Ooh. Well, they are warm. Smallest. Although oh, smallest and the guests get more. That's so weird. Oh, All right, okay. I thought it was about me. I know, that's why you're here. I love that. So the, the, there's a lot of flavors going on here. Mm. A little pineapple. Mm. Now I did take that out of order. I hate when I break the rules, but I, they're my rules, I guess, so I can break them. But well, you broke um, it last time too. I, kind I know, of right? You. Yeah. I ate the food first because I've, I've been doing that too. <sighs> See, that's just me. Food first. So the the wine, you want to coat your your mouth, but. You need something that's big enough to handle all that's going on here. Lock There's a lot on. of going on. But it doesn't, uh, it doesn't overpower it. I mean, it's a real nice balance. Mm. Mm. Did, you, did you try some of that? It's good, huh? Isn't that good? It's nasty. Nasty. So we have a little thing that's new in the wine industry. Yeah. We have a new age. Well, come on, come on, can I get over here? Come on over. This is Janelle. This is Kevin's significant uh, other, um, or whatever. Um, so this is Behringer has released this. They are the first to do it on the market. They put these in certain grocery stores across the country, and if it goes well, they'll put them in all of their groceries across across the country. It's um, basically a sample that you can pull from right off the shelf, right below um, the winery there. Wine you know that sample? stuff? No. Right, it's right it's under the wine the itself. Home. They have a little dispensers, and it's a little tab, and it's a lot like um, the the mint things that you try uh -huh. that keep your breath fresh. So it's kind of like that. It's that same concept. And so you open. Basic. Open it up at the top like this, and it's okay. just supposed to give you an idea of what the wine tastes like. And of course, there's no. Is it more about the smell or is it about the taste? No, it's about the taste, and there's no alcohol in it. Of course, they couldn't put. Oh, alcohol see this in now, Karina. Take a look. This is uh, Cabernet Sauvignon in a in a in a in a some some. Now, it doesn't have it doesn't like that. It doesn't have uh, it's a Chardonnay. See the color scheme also kind of applies. Yeah. So it doesn't have alcohol. <clears throat> so so so, so come here. This is really cool. Oh. No one has seen this ever in the world, and yeah. you're seeing a world, the very first time in the entire world has anybody seen this. But but let me ask you this: Is it? Oops! Oh, I broke it. I guess. Didn't. Yeah, don't try to lick that off of there. Peel put it, it off and place it on your tongue. Okay, like I'm going to put it down here just for it. So, so the... Uh, oh, it's at the top? Yeah, it's, it's, I got it open pretty easy. So would, would, it, would it be pretty much the finished wine except for the alcohol? It's supposed to just give you an idea of the components of, of the wine itself without the alcohol. Okay, exactly. so I'm going to do no that right now, live, okay, because yeah. uh, this is Cabernet Sauvignon. Now, it doesn't say a year. Does that matter? No, yeah. no not on this one. <laughs> it does for other wine. <laughs> but this is a non-vintage taste. <laughs> it's just an interesting thing. Some people may like it, some may not. But it's a new thing that's out in the industry and they're the first to do it. I think it's great. Did you and taste Chardonnay? I, I tasted it. It's an enticing blend of stone fruit with a touch of uh, perfectly uh, offset the honey uh, apric honeyed apricot. I'll leave wow. it to it. I well, love thank it. You. Thank you, Janelle. That was awesome. Wow. I love those little gifts that come in oh, while we're... I double-toed Jerry and try right through the camera. You got all sample of it? Those are actually arsenics. Oh, oh yeah. Well, that, yeah. That's fitting. This will be our last show. <laughs> yeah, this is our last show. 
I think that's a brilliant idea. That's very cool. I, I thought at first it was going to be something like scratch and sniff, you know, where you just like yeah, right. smell the wine. Well, but I did smell it when I opened it. You can still smell it. So this, this is great. And I guess eventually you learn how this opens because right now, I, I notice people are trying to open it like they do the yeah. ketchup things. No, that, but you, I guess you separate the top. Well, because the words the words peel is at the top. Yeah, except that, <laughs> except that you have those glasses on and I can't read that. I what? know it's a, it's a place. It's called Costco, and they actually sell them, and they're really cool. And you get to cool. keep them, and you get to take them home, and you can wear them all the time. Well, I was going to suggest yeah. they put their glasses on here. <laughs> you can't even pronounce them. <laughs> well, compliments to Behringer and their staff for coming up with yeah. a unique new thing. Gotcha. That yeah. is going to help cool. people they're feel more comfortable. Way It's a cellulose. Mm -hmm. I, I also like on the graphics. On the graphics here, they also give you a quick read, almost like a thermometer, where you can see how light it is and what the nature of yeah. the wine is going to be. Yeah. So I, I think that's excellent. You know, I think for the true wine connoisseurs, they're not. You got to come over here and, and talk because they, these guys can't hear that. Okay. Well, I think for the true wine connoisseurs, this is not something that they're. They're not targeting people that are familiar with wine. These are, they're targeting people that Novice. are unfamiliar. Yeah, that, with wine. and don't know anything about the wine right, that tastes that. And they go, all. well, yeah. if it tastes anything like that, I like that. So right, let's move, right. let's move the, to a for, purchase. For all of the, the palettes here, I'm sure it's not something you're going for, but. But it's, you, you know, know, it's, it's, it's the really. industry, it's new, it's what's going on. <laughs> <laughs> White Zinfandel. Yeah, see? So all you white Zinfandel lovers out there. Exactly. Well, that's pretty cool. Thank you, Janelle. That was awesome. Great no education. Wow. Well, you learn something new all the time. You had a question over here? Let me re let me repeat the question. She said have has Janelle done a strip tasting? <laughs> it seems to me that if you're gonna sell these, you want to strip tease with it. I'm with you on that. Man, you're gonna sell a lot of these. <laughs> but they're free, right? They're not they don't cost anything. They're samples. The brand company got with the agency. Um, that produces these and decided which flavors they wanted and which wines that they wanted and they had a tasting amongst themselves and with some of the general public in the Midwest where they're targeting. So, right, and so, but not me personally. Don't we have the Midwest representation team over here? Wow. I love it, man. I'm. I, I like it. It could go further. I, it could go further. You know, these can be developed. This is the first of their kind. So these can be developed. They can be refined. They could go for a finer palette on down the line before you buy a $200 you, bottle could of wine. Could you put some of those, you know those candies that, that, that make a snapping? Could you <laughs> Could you do that for the sparkling wine? And you, you go, you go da, 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 and your mouth go, wow, rocks. that's really some, some hot, hot rocks. Rock. Hot rocks or whatever they're, hot rocks or something. Hot, hot, hot rocks. Rock. Yeah. I like that. Well, that's that's just good stuff. Yeah. Good Thank start you. on that project. Awesome. Good wow. start on that project. Wow. wow. To that wow. team. All right, now, for those of you that are coming down to hang out this weekend, we've got live music on Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. We will not, the Jordans will not be here. You must come in and spend lots and lots of money because we're going to be gone spending lots and lots of money. So it's important for us to recoup our loss. And we have live music with Ricky Allen Ray in on Thursday. John Pita is on Friday. And then Greg Yowder is bringing the house home with uh, Saturday show um, right in here at 7.30 till 10.30. You got to love it. And uh, great entertainment. You got all the new gourmet uh, grilled cheese to try out. 
We'll make you full sandwiches though. We'll make you the big ones. You know, you get the whole, you, not the little bites, but you know, you get the idea. Excellent. All right. I like it. So yeah, so please, while we're gone, uh, we'll be closed on uh, Sunday, Monday, um, while we're gone. That's the way it is. So just stock up on Saturday. Don't worry about it. We'll open again on Tuesday. We'll, we promise. In small town America, you just hang the keys on the outside. If anybody needs anything, come in. It's kind of an honor yeah, bar. Yeah, and it'll have thing. a code to turn the alarm yeah. off. And you just take what you need and leave a check. Yeah. We prefer checks. We love that, you know. Always made money with checks. Yeah, you just do the national holiday for spring training for Sunday and Monday. Sunday Monday is a national holiday. It is. It is. Yeah. You know, we, we got to do stuff, too. I mean, you know, so you know, we're here a lot. So don't, don't worry. You only oh, missed two days. Easter. And the following week is Easter, which is even better than that. So, because I like Easter, because I like eggs. And might I jump back to this? Yes, oh, by you? the way, by the way, the wine's really great too. <laughs> yes, yeah, not. Yeah, don't get all hung up on the on the food and forget about the wine. Yeah, you're you're correct at that. It is pretty good. Yeah, that's porn. It's showing nice. really well. I mean, it really is. Um, all right. Now you got Cabernet Franc, 2010, Mayakama fruit, um, high elevation, uh, 24 months, brand new French oak. Uh, he's not kidding with this. He's not That's kidding. Nice. Now, this is where the rubber meets the road, okay? This is where I have to step up out of my comfort zone to in Brace the blue cheese. The blue cheese. <laughs> even even holding it in my hands, it hurts. It burns right through, and I go, "Oh my gosh, it's killing me!" No, but they're they're really bluey. Okay. Wow. You blew. You, um. In in life, you just got to come out of your comfort zone. You just do. You have to. And if I'm willing to do it, you. Yeah. And and. What I've learned, as, as much as it, it is not on my favorite list, what I've learned is if you do the pairing correctly, you can live through that pretty easy. Now, you dig this stuff. So I dig blue cheese. You're like my buddy Russ. He, he would have this for breakfast. I mean, he, you know, he, 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 he would take chunks and grab big plunk and eat it like that. Wait a minute, are you saying if you drink enough you can eat anything? Oh yeah, absolutely, that's right. <laughs> I'm gonna try uh, Berenger Cabernet Sauvignon with my grilled cheese. <laughs> it's gonna exactly. be some strawberries. <laughs> All right, so what I had to do to really get with the program is I had to make sure that I started correctly with enough wine coated in my mouth that it balances that blue right away so it doesn't freak me out so i don't go mm. right we talked about that didn't we? start yeah. with the wine start with the wine gotta go so this way i'm gonna gargle with this wine <laughs> you dramatically you know did that he did that <laughs> <laughs> All right, one more, one more, because I wasn't sure. <laughs> this tastes work. Work it out, man. Glad you liked it before. Not tonight. I have a question. I thought it was Maya K. Mus Mountain. Here at Maya K. Ma. Is there a difference? You didn't spell it right. No, it's spelled right. Maya K. Ma. Maya Kama. Maya Kama. I didn't die. <laughs> I didn't die. I didn't die. What's that? I, I ate it. It didn't die. Oh, you're still alive. I'm alive. There is. A, see, it, it balances beautifully. It really does. You know what I do with bacon? Um, I wrap hot dogs in bacon. We cook them in the George Foreman. Holy Toledo. Wow, is that a cool. That's a. That's just the way to, you know, all right, so. Somebody suggested that we do a crab 
che grilled cheese. That would be great. Yeah. <laughs> Let's do that. <laughs> With blue cheese. Yeah, just do a crab milk. Yeah, but I, I, I what what cheese what cheese would I put with it? Cheddar. A white cheddar. A white cheddar. Nothing strong. But you a crab milk is like a like a patty milk. Cream cheese. Crab and it's with cheddar. Oh, it's got cheddar. Is that what it? Absolutely cheddar. A white cheddar? I would think a white cheddar would be good. I bet huh? a white cheddar would be good. When in doubt, pour the colors. All right. When we get back from spring training, we're gonna we'll 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 experiment with that. And we'll do it on the, on the show here live, and we'll have that That'd be great. live. Okay, yeah. so I was brave. I had some of that blue. I'm going to have it a little more. Mmm. 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 Yeah. That's not that good, but... I used to be an actor back as a child, so... All right. I did. I did. I did theater. So if they could have also, I, I did. I did of this. You could have like a blue cheese packet, so you could choose the wine and. And you acted like you liked the very <laughs> I'm getting busted in the room here. <laughs> no, but you know, um, seriously, come out of your comfort zone. I'm talking to the audience that's watching at home. Come out of your at comfort least they're zone. Listening. Yeah. Well, yeah, they don't have a choice. It's on, you know. It's like, <laughs> but they're doing other stuff, and they go, "Oh, is he still on?" Oh, shit. <laughs> but it's one big long commercial. Yeah, folks. Go, it, go, go to the kitchen. Get the bottom. Out. The bottom line is, come out of your comfort zone a little bit. Enjoy some rosé. Don't be so, you know, uppity dippity. Oh, it's just not. It's not sweet. It's beautiful. Just trust me. The sun will. The orb will come and visit you someday soon. Don't worry. It's okay. We're going to the orb, baby. We got 97 <laughs> degrees in Phoenix. 97. Do you know how freaking hot? Do you know how hot? That's hot, dude. Yeah. That's that, hot. we're going to, I'm going to roast. Have you been tanning? Have you been getting yourself? I don't need to. I'm like, I am. You're tan now? Oh, yeah. That's it? I'm, 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 I am, I've got it wired, man. I am yeah, we got oh, yeah. 91, 95, 96, 95, 93, 96. All 90. Ooh, baby, baby. Those look like 90 numbers. I like 90. I like it hot. So just rip it off. It's just, yeah, we got a, we got a nice pool. At the, at we stay at the Holiday Inn Express and no problem. And they have a, they have a cocktail hour every day at 6. <laughs> I'll be here in the air conditioning right here. Yeah. I'll be. Well, they have air conditioning. Oh yeah, right? I know. Now that's when we drink their beer. You know, we drink their beer because their wine over there is not good. Not good. We like them, they're really cool, but man, their wine stinks. Um, so, all right, so you've got, you've got uh, Cabernet Franc paired up with a creamy American blue cheese. And if I can eat it, you can eat it. You can do that. And that's a neat thing. Dinner parties, anything like that. Red wine went real nice with the with the blue. It did. It really did. Yeah. So I'm 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 way okay with that. I'm way okay. Um, so I need uh, I need the bottle. Can we get that bottle back? The Cabernet Franc. How about the Frank? We have the Frank too. Yeah, you can step right in front of the camera. No problem. Yeah, everybody loves that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> She needs to be on camera at least once, right? Oh man, I just, I just wanted to make sure we had enough in our glass. Oh, of course. Because you know we can't finish up our show without some wine. And so, to recap, remember Sunday, Monday we're closed. We're in, we're in Scottsdale. We're going to be watching baseball. We're going to be screaming and yelling. We're going to play some golf. We're going to get hot. We're going to Burn. We're what? gonna, yeah, it's gonna be great. I didn't say pot, I said hot. Jeez, they're getting all excited. <laughs> no, no, we said it hot. I'm jealous, I'm jealous. Okay? You're jealous because, no, it's gonna be 85 here. You shouldn't be so jealous. And you can come over to the house and swim while we're gone. The pool's about 58. You're gonna love that. <laughs> no comment. 
Yeah, it, it, go to Calistoga Ranch. Just trust me, man. I'm just, I, I, I just, I can't tell you how cool that is. So, um, yeah. So we leave on Thursday. You guys, your only, your only job is to get in here, spend lots of money. We're going to be trying to spend right along with you. So we need to balance that out. It's important. It's an economic thing. We got to keep the wheels going, help them out, and and you know, be be patient if the staff doesn't you know we have cameras i will be able to actually get to that camera right there and see what's going on so if you're not doing your thing man what we'll do we'll have an easel will here to your house. we'll say complaints and we'll just write down <laughs> so anytime you log on yeah. you can see the complaint complaint yeah and it should be empty i want it empty yeah no i have right that camera i can turn it on from home yeah absolutely. i believe you i i watch all the live uh music I can watch it from home because I have a channel just for that. And so, um, yeah, so you can watch at home on Thursday, Friday, Saturday. It doesn't do me any good, but you can do that. And, and for all these see people, that's a free uh, pass. They can watch Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. We don't really talk much about the fact yeah. they can log in and do that. Yeah, yeah. And we don't, we're not going to broadcast from uh, Scottsdale like we did uh, last year. Was it last year or the year before? Which one? Was it last year? Though? Oh, we did. We did last year. Yeah, we, we did the we did the show. But what was interesting is we went to the ball game first. So they. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we did. In fact, dig this. I'll tell you how cool this thing is. And it was it was 85 degrees. Was it at least right? We had it in the in the van in the center of the van while we're out in the game it's inside the 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 car and it and it never changed temperature at all i swear to god we got it to the hotel i'm going guys get out some ice we got to cool this wine down i opened up the box it was cold from the air from the uh from the uh altitude uh, uh of the flight it's, it maintained the temperature. I couldn't believe it. I thought we ruined this one. And we brought some killer wines. And I go, damn, we're going to open these and we're going to pretend they're good. And we're going to go, oh, isn't this good? <laughs> and, it was, and they were. They were ice cold. It was beautiful. So that worked. Yeah. So uh, I'm telling you, you know, we know how to do it. We, I travel with that much wine, you know, for like a couple of days. Yeah. The last day long? Well, not no. Oh. It's gone quickly. All right. Yeah. There's a there's a lot of takers. You know, people go. They're having too much fun over there. What do you got? I carry, these, I carry these in my pocket. It's all I eat. These are great. <laughs> I mean, come on. Yeah, you want to enjoy a glass with me? Come on. I got a Cabernet Sauvignon. Yeah. Enjoy here's a, that. Here's huh? a blue cheese packet to go with it. <laughs> yeah. It comes with blue cheese. Here's a crumb. There you go. I yeah, I haven't seen the white zin. So they got it over there. Is it crazy? It's a white zin. It's probably sweet, right? Because it, man, wow. So um, anyway, um, we're not gonna be here. So that's just the way it is. Come down, enjoy the music, enjoy uh, the food menu that we that we've added. Uh, take care of our staff. They work really hard and they let us go on this trip and take care of business for us. We appreciate everybody uh, helping out. And uh, next week will be a race for us to get back here in time, but we have Dave. We'll get a head start on it. Dave will keep our streak alive. This is the longest running wine webcast in the world. In the world, period. And it's because of you and you and you and all of you. Nobody has a show that has run as long. This is like six years. I mean, well, yeah, yeah, yeah. But we we did it. We did it as kind of a fluky thing, and we just kept doing it. So that is. We okay. forgot to stop. We forgot to stop. We like it. People like it, and we get. Oh, there's hundreds and hundreds of videos on. YouTube and all kinds of topics, all kinds of winemakers. I've interviewed everybody under the planet, and they're and they're really, you know, some of the shows are. are Why don't you tell everybody where your first interview started, which was back in my high school days, football, and that's where this all began. Once you really get it. Well, 
I'll just See, all right, I'll, I'll tell you this really fast. It's a secret thing. It's a, it's a, it's a secret. Here's the deal. Here's the deal. When I would go to the kids' ball games, I would go with the camera and I would film the games. And the kids won. And, but, but here's the problem. I would film it, but I was screaming so loud that my wife said, you can't do that anymore. And, and me being the smart guy like I am, I, I have to do what she says. So then I said, okay, and I got a headset and I did play by play, then I couldn't scream. So I did, <laughs> so I did, I did play by play for real. I did, I did, I brought my own music. When the team came out onto the field, I had a boom box and I cranked up the music and I did introductions to all of the players. And then, and then at the end, we would pick the player of the game, which was always Kevin and one of his friends. It was, or Andrew and one of his friends. <laughs> and we go, the player of this week is, oh, it's Kevin and another Kevin friend. <laughs> and we would My go and we man. would interview them. I would interview them at the end of the game. And we did that for legit. We actually did. And hockey. I did live hockey at 5 o'clock in the morning. He still has his highlight. <laughs> I had the best video me. of hockey. You just can't even, and it's cold in there at 5.30 in the morning. <laughs> and it's like in Stockton, so we had to leave at 3 in the morning to get there. It was crazy. But anyway, so that's where I started my camera career was out of being too loud. <laughs> <So> <laughs> if I could, I just couldn't stand it. So then I, when I, once I put the headset on, I had to be yeah. quiet. And then it just, and so I couldn't, it worked freak, I couldn't freak out. Yeah, it, yeah, I couldn't. And I would, you, you could hear, I have tapes where you hear me and it's like, who the heck is that crazy guy? Yeah. <laughs> Why don't you just shut him up? Hit him in the head. Shut him up or give him a microphone. Oh. <laughs> anyway, so yeah, the camera and me, we've been uh, friends for a long, long time. Um, but yeah, I've got more film than anybody on the planet. It's all clean stuff too, by the way. None of the weird old shit. I'm, you know, Other than this window. weekend. Well, this weekend we don't bring the camera. <laughs> well, yeah, I was outside in the shower. <laughs> yeah, you didn't, there's no video of that. Uh -uh. I don't think. What was my wife doing? She was gone for a while. We did the broadcast from Arizona at the at the hotel. We did, and after watching the Giants game and. Being all liquored up. And, oh, Andrew was gone. Andrew was gone. This is the greatest one. <laughs> he was, was rocking. They were. Oh, uh, it was. It was. It was. It was not good. Not good. I wonder how many more minutes we have left. We don't. We don't. We lost our our whole everything. We lost our Saturday We're actually feed. pretty good. No, we, we okay. can go as long as we want. I own the damn show. We can do anything I want. There you go. What are you, you, you going to fire myself? Yeah, fire me. Yeah, all right. Sure. Yeah. So um, I want to thank all of you that keep coming and enjoying our wines. I know you love our wines. You love the food. I want to thank Janelle for uh, just introducing us to this new thing that's going to be a hit man thank you it's Baron got Burns. a market here so, that it's going to be right right yeah it's so going to be if i so, go to www.behringer.com i will not see these yet um no wow this is the prototype. well go there anyway oh well i yeah i don't know we'll we'll, we'll find out right away and, and also a shout out uh, to Kevin who works at Chateau Montalena. And if you've never gone to Chateau Montalena, you are missing one of the finest uh, places. The wines are amazing. The, the Chateau is incredible. If you, if you get history. Kevin, he makes up all kinds of stuff and tells you about it. It's really cool. <laughs> it's really great. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, you got to love that. And uh, so be, go there, another great uh, tour. And uh, Andrew is always in charge here and takes care, of, takes care of all the little details that make all this work. And of course, Karina takes care of our social media and our filming, and she does a great job. 
And Dave, thank you for, for coming back from Vegas. I know you went to Vegas. Uh, I got and a sandwich. I got you, some wine. I'm good. Did you give them money? Did you give away uh, money? Do you uh, gamble when you go there? Well, you they go? say, you know, what, 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 stay, what happens there stays in Vegas. Vegas. Well, my money stayed in Vegas. <laughs> <laughs> That's all I can say. <laughs> wow. Wow. Okay. All right. Well, this is where you discover wine one sip at a time here at Sellers of Sonoma. Thanks for tuning in, everybody. We'll see you next week. Go Giants! Baseball has started.